most beautiful girl in the world walked up to me and was like, Stanley, give me a pie and I'll do whatever you want. I'd say I prefer to use protection. So I'm black and my parents are from Haiti, making me a Haitian, meaning that there was a significant difference between how I was eating Thanksgiving food and how the unmelanated members of society were celebrating Thanksgiving. But I thought to myself, if they put half as much heart and soul into their food as they put into the Pledge of Allegiance, then I'm thinking maybe this will actually be decent and not even that bad. And boy, was I wrong. Because from my understanding, white people have been getting dragged about their food since the Indians like Columbus literally pulled up with rations and the chief of Native Americans took the eye out of his name and started cooking them boys like he was a chef for real and for the next 500 years white people proceeded to be the symbol of I can't cook however I'm a big fan of innocent until proven guilty because you know I don't live on Twitter and because of that I would never actually make a tier list on who can cook and who can't cook until I had the specific ethnicities food straight from their kitchen itself. So when I got the opportunity to go to an older woman's Thanksgiving, you already know what I was on. We had to accomplish a few things. And I say we, because it was me, my brother, and I think my friend Ben. What, y'all thought I was gonna pull up to Heather's alone? Hell no, I gotta make it back home. I lived in Virginia. All it takes is one. Hey Stanley, I know you finished eating, but can you help me wash the dishes and boom i'm an indentured servant and the worst part about it is i won't even make a good slave bro i'm running every chance i get they won't have to put a tracking device on me because one day you might see me out in the field in misery and then the next day i'm gonna be out of the field in missouri so to avoid the hassle of auditioning for get out again i just brought the homies with me okay we pull up to this nice neighborhood i'm talking so nice they got the gated community green grass nothing on the front lawn doggy bags just on a roller outside things like that you can't even do in the hood niggas will take the bags home and use it to sell an eight so the neighborhood presentation alone gets a 10 out of 10 we get to the house i don't really know these people my friend does they went to the same church as us but as for me i'm just his carry-on luggage today so while they were small talking i noticed two important things number one hella people had their shoes on past the doorway which if i did that at home the only thing i would pass into is the afterlife and the second thing i noticed was that you guys have way more food options than i had growing up at their house they had one version of turkey three versions of hams two version of yams 3.1415 versions of pie the list goes on but quality and quantity is a delicate balance because you can have every ham you want but if they all taste like mystery meat from a cafeteria then what's the point we sit down at this older lady's house we say grace after that she says we can help ourselves this was also weird because instead of people passing plates around they got up like it was a lunch line or something and also the food wasn't on the table it was like off to the side at my house it's not like that it's like oh pass me some of this hey let me get some of that hey hand this to Stanley, but bigger events demands a different process, I guess. So I didn't dock any points from them. Once we sit down, this is pretty much how my first plate is looking. Turkey slices, okay? Every ham slice that they had, macaroni, potato salad, normal salad, and mashed potatoes. The meat off rip was hitting. Perfectly cooked, nice and juicy. My turkey wasn't clucking. My ham wasn't oinking, which is a big deal for me because I don't do rare cooked food, okay? Seasoning was there for the meat. It did not let me down. Now, as for the rest of the plate, besides the mashed potatoes, everything else for me was a, uh, this is good, but I wouldn't eat it again. The potato salad had like raspberries in it or something. The mac and cheese was so plain, it started flying. The salad, how do you mess up salad? The salad had more fruits than vegetables in it. Their bread was gluten free and the collard greens tasted shirtless. And the worst thing out of all of the things that I'm saying is that nobody else took leftovers, which to me is a sign of disrespect. Grandma just blew her last good hip out and spent this month's social security check on this food just for it to marinate and refrigerate air for the next two weeks and then get thrown away. But I wasn't like, you know, upset, upset because at least I got to take home the things I like. Granted, it 
wasn't that many. Oh, and also, I forgot to add this. Everyone in general, okay? I hate your pies. Cranberry pie, peach cobbler, raspberry pie, blueberry pie, apple. I hate it. I don't care. Even if the most beautiful girl in the world walked up to me and was like, Stanley, give me a pie and I'll do whatever you want, I'd say I prefer to use protection. That's how much I didn't mess with pie. Y'all need to throw that whole bakery option away is what I thought until this white old lady put some mother freaking pumpkin pie on my plate. It was game over since then. I can eat pumpkin pie any time of the year and I get white people credit for putting me onto that. So with all that being said, I actually give my experience like a seven out of 10 because even though I was there to taste the food, being there reminded me of the other aspects of Thanksgiving which is community sharing and experience like i said they had mad shoes running up and down the house they had so much people at the house that the food couldn't even fit on the table and the simple fact that i was there when i looked nothing like them and we grew up completely different it made their thanksgiving way better than decent in a totally different way without her i would have never known that i love pumpkin pie so to all my caucasians out there who may not I have seasoning in your food I definitely appreciate you for having seasoning in your homes because when I look around that table I saw black people white people Asians Hispanics and everything in between sitting at one table enjoying their food hmm, well enjoying each other's company and celebrating a holiday in a way I would have never saw coming so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below comment two times hug the nearest caucasian you can find and with that being said it's good to be back it's a wrap fade to black